empire of thee at this day. See, he had his trust in the barns. He had his trust in the, in the riches that were in the barns. He wow. said, I'll tear down and I'll, big, and I'll, big, I'll build bigger. Uh, but this morning, church, amen, our trust, if it ain't in Jesus Christ, uh, Paul said, yeah. he told the Galatian church, he said, you're fallen from grace, uh, whosoever you are uh, that are justified uh, by the law. If you're justified this morning, I ask you the question, amen, why are you going to heaven? If the answer ain't because I've been saved uh, by the blood of Jesus Christ, amen, then praise God, be on the altar this morning. Yeah, if that ain't your answer, I'd be on the yeah, altar making sure that things are right between me and the Lord because if you're trusting in any other thing and then you're not saved this morning, yeah, our trust needs to be in the Lamb of God. Amen. 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 Our trust has to be in the Lamb of God. Yeah. Amen. But he said that you're a debtor to the whole law. So, yeah. amen, if you think you're Amen. If you think that keeping the law, Amen. If you think by being a good moral person is going to save you, Amen. And you, but if you if you do one thing wrong, then you you're guilty of all of it. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. See, Amen. Grace took that away from us, didn't it? Amen. Amen. Grace. Amen. Grace. Amen. The grace of God took that away from us. Amen. Men, you still fail, and we come short, but we've got an advocate, don't we? We've got an advocate with the Father. Uh, but if you, amen, if you trust in any other thing, trust in anything but the blood of the Lamb of God, amen, then, uh, amen, if you, if you tell a little white lie, amen, then you're just as guilty as a murderer. Amen? That's what the Bible teaches. Yeah. Uh, praise God, if thus, for the person out there that's lost and the blood of the Lamb of God ain't on their sins, ain't covered the door, the door of their heart, amen, uh, Moses said, he said, I want you to take the blood, he said, a lamb for each house, and take the blood, he said, I want you to put it on the the two side posts and on the lintel of the door and he said when the death angel passes over he said then he'll pass by that house he said but everyone and where the blood is not applied will lose their firstborn this night uh, can you imagine the cries uh, that it went out through Egypt that night amen or that morning when the Egyptians come in and found their firstborn and maybe lying down in the crib or maybe lying down in their bed amen no breath about them or no life about them because the blood wasn't applied to the door I uh, see this morning church it's by the blood of Jesus Christ Amen. that we'll make an entrance into the holy city Amen. it's by the blood of Jesus Christ uh, he said I am the door he said by me if any man enter in he shall be saved he shall go in and out and he shall find pastor uh, thank God it's by the door uh, it's, by the, it's by Jesus Christ this morning he said in John 14 and 6 he said I am the way of uh, the truth and the life he said no man will come to the Father, uh, but by me. And he said over there in another place, he said that no man uh, cometh to me except the Father, which has sent me, draw him. So it takes, amen, amen it takes both of them, don't it? Amen. amen. We can't go to, we can't get to God without Jesus, and we can't get to Jesus without the Holy Ghost. Amen. amen. Draw me and you. It takes the whole, it takes all of it. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. But he said, Christ has become of no effect to you. Now listen to that. Yeah. Amen. If, if men use trust in anything but Jesus, Amen. The Christ don't mean a thing to us. There's no effect. He's no effect to us. Amen. What's that mean? He's not, Amen. He's become no effect to us. That means he ain't. Amen. He ain't done a thing for us. Amen. Amen. He died for us. He died for us. But if we're trusting anything else, then His blood's not covering us. Amen. He's become of no effect. He might. He just went there in vain. Amen. On our, on our case. Amen. Right. And amen. Now, if there had just been one person, it'd still not be in vain. But what I'm saying is, he's no effect to the ones that don't believe. He's no effect to them personally. Amen. He still died for them. He still wants to save them. Uh, but if a person dies in their sins, amen, just to them personally, uh, Christ meant nothing to them. Amen. To them now, amen, he, they meant the whole world to him. He went to die for them. But those that die, uh, you might, amen, without, without Jesus Christ, uh, people might have respect for the house of God, and people might have respect for the preacher and have respect for the word of God uh, but if you die if they die without the Lord then Christ didn't mean a thing to them uh, Christ didn't mean nothing to them he said Christ has become of no effect to you uh, praise God I'm way man Christ means the world to me don't you I say this morning he said he said that if you put father or mother or daughter or son before me he said you ain't worthy of me he told the man that said let me first uh, go bury my dead and he said let the dead bury the dead uh, 
take up your cross and follow me. Oh, Solomon wrote there uh, when he was talking about I mean, uh, uh, the Song of Solomon. Now, it's a love story, but it's a picture of Christ's love for the church and the church's love uh, for Jesus Christ. And the woman there said, he said, I am my, she said, I am my beloved, and my, my beloved and my beloved is my. Uh, she said, he's altogether lovely. And now me and you ought to see Jesus Christ that same way. Yeah. Amen. He's altogether yeah. lovely this morning. Amen. Beautiful, brother. He's, amen. Amen. I'm glad this morning that hallelujah, he's altogether lovely. Amen. He's the yeah. fairest of 10,000 of my soul. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But he said, yeah, I said that just, whosoever of you are hallelujah. are justified by the law. Yeah. Amen. Amen. What are we just? What are you justified by this morning? Yeah, well, Amen. Are we justified by the grace of God? Or are, you, are you trusting in? Amen. I got news for the world this morning. If you think you're justified, Amen. There's a lot of people, Amen, that went up there in those rights this this weekend, Amen, on both sides. Now they thought they was justified in doing that. Thought they was justified in doing this. But praise God, there ain't nothing we can do to justify ourselves, Amen. If we're justified by anything other than the grace of God. And we're not right with God and we're on our way to hell. That's the only way to put it now this morning. And when our trust needs to be in the Lamb of God, our trust needs to be in the one that hung on Calvary 2,000 years ago and gave every drop of his blood. And that old song says, I'm glad that he shed one drop for me, but I beg your pardon this morning, church. He shed every bit of it and just that I might have life. Amen. Amen. Now get to get a hold of that now. If you're the only person that ever trusted in him, he'd have still died for you. Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. He shed his he shed every bit of his blood for you. Yeah. Every bit of his blood for me. Thank God for that this morning. Thank God for that. He said, But if you're justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. Amen. Amen. There's a lot of people this morning that's not amen. Like I said, they're trusting other things. They're trusting the church membership. Right. Amen. There's people that sit on the pew for years and years yes. and years. And they never moved closer to the Lord. Amen. They amen. They go to church every Sunday, but they don't do nothing for the Lord. They don't pray. They don't read the Bible. Uh, praise God. What are they trusted in? Amen. I don't know the heart of nobody, but I know what the Lord said. He yes. said we'd know a tree by the fruit that it bears. And I say this morning, if they're trusting their church membership, if they're trusting that name on the roll, uh, then what they are is they're fallen uh, from grace. They are, amen. Amen. They're not. They're not saved. They're not born again. They don't have the blood of Jesus Christ on their soul. Amen. 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 And it says, "For we through the Spirit, what's it, uh, what do we wait for? We wait for the hope of righteousness." By faith. Amen. One day, men, you're going to put off this old flesh. You know that? Amen. Amen. If you're saved now this morning, one day, by the grace of God, you'll put off this old flesh. Amen. Well, one day, if, if you're laid in the grave or if you're here, amen, alive and remain when the Lord comes, amen, you'll put off this old amen. flesh. Thank God for that. Amen. We put people in the grave and, and you know, and we uh, and we, we, we put them in vaults and things like that to preserve the body. But you know, all that's, all that's in vain. All that's in vain. And amen. That's a waste of money, is what it is. Amen. 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 I, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm not against the funeral. Amen. I'm not against the funeral. But praise God, when I die, Amen. They can just put me in a box and lay me in the ground. But I want somebody to preach the word of God to the lost people that's there. I want somebody to preach the word of God. Amen. As I've heard these men of God, Brother Darrell Rogers, say uh, many times, and that's the case. Amen. The funerals I've preached. Amen. A few of them that I've preached. Uh, there's been people in that funeral home that'll never step foot in the house of God. Amen. That's the only place that the word of God will be preached to them at. Amen. Is at the funeral home. Yeah. Amen. God help the preacher that won't get up and preach the word of God because it's a funeral. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It needs to be preached just like it is in the church house. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But for we through the Spirit of God do wait. Yeah. We through the Spirit do wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. How are we made righteous? By faith. Amen. By faith. That's the only way we can be made righteous. Yeah. By faith. Amen. 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 Abraham. Amen. Went up on the mountain, didn't he? Yeah. Amen. He took Isaac up yeah. there. Yeah. Amen. Took Isaac up there. Amen. Laid him down there. And he yeah. said, You all wait down here. He said, Me and the lad are going to go up. Amen. Amen. On the way up, <laughs> Amen. Abraham might not have understood it. Abraham, he might not have knew that there was going to be a lamb up there. Amen. He might not have knew there was going to be anything up there. Amen. But you know what he told Isaac when they started to go up the mountain? And Isaac looked at him and said, Father, he said, How are we going to make a sacrifice when we have no lamb? Yeah. He said, God will provide himself a lamb. And he might have thought that it was going to be the boy. He might have thought that God had provided the boy. But praise God, I'm glad that God provided himself 
of a sacrifice. And I'm glad that God has provided a sacrifice for me and you. And you see, just like Isaac, we's going to have to be offered up. We's going to have to die. We's going to have to die. Amen. There was no sacrifice that could save us from our sins. Amen. If the Lamb of God had not come, we's going to have to die ourselves. He took our death on the cross. Do you know me and you? Amen. When they cried out to let Barabbas go, now me and you, and Amen. Spiritually speaking, we're right there with him. Amen. Yeah. What did? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. They cried. Amen. They cried out for the yeah. for the one that deserved death. Amen. Let him go. Let him go. That the one that Amen. The one that did nothing. Pilate said, "I found no fault in this just man." Amen. Yeah. Amen. The one that the one that had no fault in him. He died for the one. Yeah. He died for the one they let go. Yeah. Amen. Ain't that right? Amen. He died for me and you. We we went free. Amen. Because Jesus Christ died for us. But we're waiting on. The Bible said we're saved by hope. Over in Romans. It said, but hope which is seen is not hope. It said, for, it said if we hope for that which we see, amen, we, we don't have anything to hope for. If we're, if we're, we can't hope for that that we already have, can we? Amen. Amen. If I, if I pick this up, and I'm, hoping it's, I'm hoping for this. I can't hope for it. I've already got it. Amen. I've already got it. But he said, but if we hope for that which we see not, we do with patience. Wait for it. Amen. amen. We're, we got, we've got a hope of a better tomorrow, don't we? Yeah. Amen. Because yeah. of the grace of God. But Paul said, he said, for in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision, that's the law, ain't it? Right. Amen. Amen. The Jew had to be circumcised on the eighth day yeah. after they were born. Yeah. Amen. And, that, and, and they had to do that. And they had to keep the law. They had to keep the law. He said, but circumcision availeth anything to run circumcision. Neither one of them. Amen. The law, amen. Amen. But you know that even the Gentiles, it said in one place, amen, they do the things which are contained in the law. Uh, why is that? Because there's a God that gives me and you. Amen. There's a God that teaches me and you, that teaches us. The grace of God teaches us, don't it? Uh, to live right. The grace of God uh, teaches me and you uh, to live by this Bible. Uh, to live by this. Now me and you, amen, like I said, we're not kept by the law, but what was sin back then, uh, what was sin over there in the Old Testament it's still sin now Amen. the ceremonial law now uh, we're not saved by that but the moral law of God uh, what God said was wrong and yeah. what God said was right uh, morally speaking it's still the same in, the, in 2017 yeah. as it was when Christ walked this earth and as it was when David walked this earth it's still the same tonight or this morning church and me and you are expected to live yeah. how the Bible said to live Amen. Amen. and if you're right with God God, you will. Amen. Amen. But faith, uh, circumcision availeth nothing. Nor uncircumcision. Yeah. But it's faith which worketh by love. Not faith. Amen. It works by love. How is it that men you can have faith? The Bible said, Amen, that God give every man a measure of faith. faith. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Why is that? Because for God... Amen. The only reason we can have His faith is for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten yeah. Son that whosoever believeth in Him uh, should not perish but have everlasting life. And the Bible went on to say, Amen, that uh, amen, that he that believeth not is condemned already. Right. Amen, but he that believeth on the only begotten Son of God is not condemned. Amen, tonight, uh, this morning church, uh, me and you, the Bible said, Amen, that it said, Therefore, uh, there is now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. But don't leave this next part off. It said to them who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit yeah. men you that's walking the, uh, walking in the spirit that's saved by the grace of God ain't no condemnation on us if there we're walking in the go. spirit now there amen no condemnation on us there but it's go. the faith that come by love amen. it come by love the amazing amen. grace of God I, amen that, that song gonna win no better than that I'm glad they sung it amazing grace of God that's what saves men that's yeah. what saves women amen right. and, it's, and, it's, and it comes by faith grace amen it's grace through faith Amen. It's the grace of God and we receive that grace. We accept that grace by faith, don't we? We accept it by faith. Amen. And that faith come by what? By the love of God. Amen. By the love of God, didn't it? Because He gave us a measure of faith because He loved us. You know this this morning, church. God would have not been unjust to never deal with you because we're all sinners. Now, he, He's going to deal with everybody. But now, He wouldn't have been unjust to never do it because we, we all were sinners. Amen. Yeah. We was all born into sin and we all, we, all, we, all, we all sinned willfully. Now, before we were saved, we did. Yeah. We said, amen. We, we, liked, we enjoyed sin. Amen. You might as well just say you did. We all did. Amen. We enjoyed our sin. Sure. For a little while till the Lord starts to deal with you. Amen. And you get under conviction. We enjoyed our sin. So God would have been just. Amen. To never sinned His only begotten Son. But it's the love of God, wasn't it? Amen. It's the love of God. Yeah. Amen. He loved me and you enough to send His only begotten Son to die for us. Amen. But it said, like I said, that verse, 
If you're justified by anything else, if you're justified by the law, if you're justified by your money, if you're justified, amen, by your church membership or going to church on Sunday morning, if you're if you if you're justifying yourself in any other th- in anything besides the Lamb of God, if you're justifying yourself, if you think you're going to heaven on anything but Jesus Christ by being born again, then Paul said you're fallen from grace. You're dead to the whole law. You're dead to the whole law. And Job said, like I said a few minutes ago, if I justify myself. Mine own mouth will condemn me. You see, when I was lost, I could have said I was saved, Roger. But you yeah. stayed long, you stayed around me long enough, you'd have found out I wasn't. Amen. Because my yeah. mouth would condemn me. And how I, how I lived would have condemned me, wasn't it? Amen. Yeah. But thank God the grace of God come my way one Sunday morning right down here. Amen.